Hello YouTubers, today we are going to take a look on this digital controlled DC to DC boost converter and I had this device connected to a motor that was running on 30 volts from a 12 volt battery and it starts blowing the fuse so first I replace the fuse but it blow again then I disconnect the load get the new fuse and new fuse also blown so free fuse is blown and I know that this device is not working and it has a dead short inside as you can see so what we are going to do so first of all what can go wrong inside this device so it's very simple we've got our choke our inductors and we've got our switching transistors and basically they are shorting the output and there is a energy store inside and when it's opening again it books boost the output voltage so that's basically it's very simple so let's also remove this part and check if anything change nothing change so basically I can't see anything burn we've got yeah, I'm applying about 10 volts so we've got like <coughs> large amount of heat and I should be able to feel it oh it's getting warm over there so I believe the transistors fail basically the only thing the capacitor could fail short or the output stage because none of them is taking any heat so let's desolder them and check okay so I removed the screw and right now it's only connected by these two transistors probably one of them is for uh, current limiting and second for the voltage so let's try to unsolder this We've got the bad axis here. So I remove the heat sink. That's how looks the PCB after the soldering and the heat sink. Let's focus. Let's grab a focus. Okay, so this one I checked them online. This one is a double diode in one package. And this one is a N channel MOSFET. So probably this one is shorted. So I'm going to unscrew and check them on the component tester. Let's try to do a check. And as we expected, it's completely shorted. So you've got a low value being seen as resistor to resistor so across the legs there is only a very low resistance so it fell short and we have to find a replacement so let's google 
what type of MOSFET we can use for this job. So we've got our MOSFET, that's the main value, so it drain source 100 volts and 80 amps. And let's also check what is a gate voltage. So voltage gate. So it's operate on very low voltage. So this is a 15 amp DC to DC converter. So I believe that almost any IC will do the job. So let's find the replacement. Okay, so right now I'm testing for short and we do not have any. So if we remove the IC everything is okay. So the only thing bad probably is just a N channel MOSFET. So let's find a replacement and check it. After waiting one month. I've got a replacement transistors from China. That's how it looks like the new one. And let's put this back together and test. Looks like it's working. I can set the voltage on the output. I can start the converter. Okay, we can measure the voltage, make sure everything stays ok we should read about 30 volts and yes we've got uh, 30 volts so looks like working This is a 10 watt 24 volt bulb connected to the output of the DC to DC converter and as you can see I've got a 12 volt I will go to even 12 volt okay I set up the 24 volt and I'm going to start the converter and it's working And that's how it looks like. You can calculate the efficiency on this data. And when I disconnect, So as you can see, working perfect. So thank you for watching and bye bye.